In this video, we are going to uh, solve problems in half range Fourier series. So, what do you mean by half range? Half means only one half of the function will be given. We are going to construct the other half uh, depending on the question. It's like 0 to pi if this is the function given. If they ask me to form a cosine series, cosine means cos, even function, right? Then I will construct like this. So, this is your cosine series. If they ask me to construct a sine series, only one half is given. So, I will extend the other half here and make the function as odd. Sine means odd. So, only one half of the function is given. We are going to develop the other half depending on our need or the question. So, it could be anything. So, it is not a straight line. It is like say if it's the graph is like this 0 to pi. They are asking me to construct a even function, cosine series. So, it means I will construct like this. So, the function will become even. And coming to even or odd, we had already formulas, right? Same formula we are going to apply. There is nothing new in half range. So, happily without checking even or odd, if it is a cosine series, we will apply even function formula. If it is a sine series, we will apply odd function formula. As simple as that. So, we have either 0 to pi or 0 to L. 0 to pi means uh, if it is a cosine series, there is no Bn. We have A0 by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity A n cos nx. What is A0? 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x dx. A n 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x cos nx dx. Very simple. If they ask you to construct a sine series, Sine means odd function, connect it like that. So, A0 and An will become 0. If they ask you to construct sine series, f of x is summation n is equal to 1 to infinity bn sin nx, where bn is 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x sin nx dx. So, uh, for arbitrary interval 0, l, the formula is same as the previous one, right? Uh, if you see this, formula is same, A0 by 2, A0 by 2. Summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n. Here we write cos n x. Here we write cos n by x by l. This is the formula for arbitrary function. a naught there you will write 2 by pi. Here you will write 2 by l integral 0 to l f of x dx. a n is 2 by l integral 0 to l f of x cos n by x by l. So if they ask to uh, construct a cosine series, we will find these two and substitute here. If they ask us to construct a sine series in the interval 0, l, what could be the formula? Yes, again, sine series means a0 and an an is 0, we have only bn. If you see the formula, summation n is equal to 1 to infinity bn sin n by x by l and bn is 2 by l integral 0 to l f of x sin n by x by l dx. So, there is nothing new here. Depending on the question, we will solve it. Okay. So, uh, see the first question, find the half range Fourier cosine series, the question they will give. Okay, so here underline the word cosine series. For the function f of x is equal to x minus 1 the whole square in the interval 0 comma 1. And please remember this is very very important why I have started with an arbitrary interval. 0 to pi it is easy for you to compare. Here by mistake you will compare with 0 comma 2L. Please remember, in half range, they will give only one half, okay. So, this is nothing but 0, L. In half range, there is no 0, 2L. In full range only, if, if the same question is given, Fourier series, then in that case, you will compare 2L is equal to 1. But here, it is half range. The diagram is given only for one half of the interval, that is 0, L. So, L is equal to 1. So, how do we identify that it is a half range? They have given the clearly in the question half range. Even if they do not mention this word, you will get Fourier cosine series. Cosine means half. You understood the difference between full range and half range. If the same question is in full range, find the Fourier series, that is it. Then you will compare 0, 1 with 0, 2L. 2L is equal to 1, L is equal to 1 by 2. But here in half range, there are only two intervals. 0, pi and 0, l. So, this is very, very, very important. L is 1. 
because if l is wrong in all the integration everything will go wrong so cosine series bn is 0 only we have to find a naught and a n no need even write bn 0 cosine series means automatically i am constructing an even function just now we have seen the formula a naught is 2 by l integral 0 to l f of x dx 2 by 1 integral 0 to 1 x minus 1 the whole square dx so you can substitute x minus 1 as u change all the integral values or directly you can use the formula integral ax plus b the whole power n dx formula so x minus 1 the whole cube by 3 and differentiation of 1 by x differentiation is 1 and uh, substituting the limit upper limit 1 minus 1 so upper limit is 0 lower limit if you substitute minus 1 the whole cube so minus 1 the whole cube is negative but upper limit minus lower limit will be there right these two minus together we get a naught as 2 by 3 and we have a n a n what is the formula 2 by l integral 0 to l f of x cos n pi x by l tx your function f of x is your question x minus 1 the whole square l is 1 2 by 1 integral 0 to 1 cos n pi x dx because the denominator is 1 so we have uh, these thing, two things in multiplication so we have to solve it by Bernoulli so the term that's going to vanish after differentiation is your u so x minus 1 the whole square we are going to differentiate remember Bernoulli is now you have to be very much thorough with so first see only the differentiation term x minus 1 the whole square sin is plus next is minus differentiation of x minus 1 is 2 into x minus 1 we have written that next is sin is plus differentiation of 2x is 2 that's it now we have to check the second terms okay so what is the second term over there in the integral cos n pi x now we check only the integration cos n pi x integration is sin pi n pi x by n pi sin n pi integration is minus cos n pi by n pi this n pi and one more n pi will become n square pi square third step minus this minus we have written as it is cos n pi integration is sin n pi by n pi already n square pi square is there one more n pi will become n cube pi cube and when we are applying the limit since it's not in fraction it's very easy because integral 0 to 1 so upper limit and lower limit will become 0 in first term and last term only we have to apply limit only for this term even in the second term if you put x as 1 this will become 0 so at last without even writing like this just by seeing it you can fix it only one term is going to exist that is the lower limit 0 so if I apply lower limit to this term uh, I will get minus 2 into uh, 0 minus 1 so because of one more low upper limit minus lower limit right that minus and this minus will become plus so you will get 2 into cos n 0 cos 0 is uh, 1 by n square pi square and already 1 2 is there outside so you will get plus 4 and uh, this minus and this minus will become plus and upper limit is 0 minus you will get a lower limit so to avoid uh, careless mistakes better to write down like this this is even more easier that is 4 by n square pi square x minus 1 cos n pi x in this limit 0 to 1 only this is going to exist so if i apply upper limit will become 0 if i apply lower limit 0 minus uh, 1 so this negative and lower limit negative sign will become positive because these two will become positive so upper limit when you apply 4 by n square pi square so 0 minus minus 1 so it will become 0 plus 1 so 4 by n square pi square just substitute in the function a naught by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x by l so now uh, it looks little easier and uh, here also you may get deduce that problems and all those things so first i started with an arbitrary interval because i want you to 
understand the difference between the normal fourier range and half range half range means half range means only one half is given so always it is 0 to l you will compare the interval only with 0 to l in half range if it's a full range then you will compare if it starts from 0 you will compare with 0 comma 2 l or if it starts from minus 3 to 3 something like that you will compare it with minus l comma l so because if l goes wrong the constants completely will change and the limit also will change so you have to be very careful in half range arbitrary and uh, coming to the next question this is very easy try to solve it on your own f of x is equal to x square in 0 comma pi obtain half range sine series when you see the word uh, yeah now you can see uh, obtain half range sine series so sine series means connect to it to a odd function so we have only bn so which is very great so 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x sin nx dx if it's an arbitrary period only we'll write sin n pi x by l 2 by l so here it's 0 to pi so 2 by pi integral 0 to pi function f of x is x square sin nx dx this is very simple keep x square as it is negative sign x square differentiation is 2x positive sign 2x differentiation is 2 i think now you'll be comfortable very much with the bernoulli's if you follow uh, the previous videos now we are going to integrate this term sin nx integration minus cos nx by n cos nx integration is sin nx by n this n and this n will become n square again and we are just carrying this negative sign and uh, when we are integrating again sin nx integration is minus cos so this minus and again integration minus will become plus so cos nx by n square into n will become n cube so only sign changes in the differentiation term plus minus plus but integration term whatever which is there inside the bracket we are carrying it cos integration is plus sign only but because this minus sign i am carrying it and again sign integration is minus cos that integration minus and this minus will become plus so please be careful and when you are applying the upper limit uh, and lower limit the this term second term will become zero and only we have to apply limit for the first term even first term if you see uh, upper limit pi will exist lower limit it will become zero because x square is there right so you will be applying limit only for three terms eventually and uh, try to simplify on your own cos n pi values minus 1 power n and this is just a simplification so you can simplify as much as you can and leave it in case in the question if they ask prove that then you have to simplify till here otherwise you can just do the basic simplification so if the function if they ask half range sine series it means you have to find only bn and if it's a half range cosine series then we have to find a naught and bn and uh, if you see the next problem uh, x into l minus x in 0 comma l obtain half range Fourier cosine series so you will compare l with l so l is going to be the same throughout the formula this problem uh, looks little lengthy because uh, in the answer you will get uh, l term normally you will get l as some constant right so you may get problems like this also without giving the value of l but the formula remains the same and in the answer uh, if you take lcm uh, one l will get cancelled and you will get a naught as l square by 3 and uh, similarly you will get a n as uh, i can show the answer yeah this is a working procedure formula is the same so if you see here l square by 3 and a n is uh, 2 by l integral 0 to l f of x cos n pi x by l so when you integrate cos n pi x by l you will get sin n pi x by l by n pi by l so this l will be there throughout in the denominator since we don't have the value of l since it's similar to what we have done already so i'm just going a little fast you can solve these problems on your own only idea is enough for you so if you see this problem again discontinuous interval in only one half is given zero to pi but in one half they are giving 0 to pi by 2 function is x pi by 2 to pi function is pi minus x 
द क्वेश्चन दे वास्ट अप टेन हाफ रेंज साइन सीरीज दैन इट्स गुड फॉर अस वी हैव टू फाइंड ओनली बी एन बी एन इज टू बै पै इंटग्रल जीरो टू पै एफ एक्स सैन एन एक्स टी एक्स सो दिस फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स इन जीरो टू पै वी आर स्प्लीटिंग इट अस जीरो टू पै बै टू मै फंक्शन इज एक्स सो रीप्लेसिंग एक्स सैन एन एक्स टी एक्स एंड पै बै टू टू पै द फंक्शन इज पै मैनस एक्स सो वी आर रईटिंग पै मैनस एक्स सैन एन एक्स डी एक्स एंड अगेन बर्नॉली इट्स लाइक फर्स्ट टर्म एक्स कॉन्स्टेंट हियर पै मैनस एक्स कॉन्स्टेंट यू कैन सिंप्लीफाइ एंड आई शो द आंसर यस and uh, it's a repeated uh, bernoulli's and just a substitution of limit and you will get this answer 2 by pi is pi n square sin n pi by 2 and uh, so we have seen one discontinuous in 0 to pi and this is the next example discontinuity in 0 to l so 0 to l by 2 function is kx l by 2 to l function is k into l minus x They are asking you to find half range cosine series. It means you have to find a naught and a n. Again, a naught formula is two by l integral zero to l f of x t x. So zero to l we have a split. Zero to l by two first function is k x. L by two to l the function is k into l minus x. That's it. So uh, by substituting the limit, you get a naught as k l by two. And a n is since it's an arbitrary period two by l integral zero to l f of x cos n by x by l dx. There is a split zero to l by two k x and l by two to l k l into l minus x. So again we are applying Bernoulli's here k x is a constant. Sorry k x is the differentiable term and cos n by x by l is the integrable term. Here this is the differentiable term. This is the integrable term. And we have to apply Bernoulli's, and you will get a n s minus four k l by n square pi square. So we have to just substitute a naught and a n in the given formula. What is the formula? F of x is equal to a naught by two plus summation n is equal to one to infinity a n cos n by x by l. So that's it. In half range, it's very simple. Either it's zero to pi or zero to l. Zero to l, it could be a dis discontinuous function. So uh, no need to check even or odd. If the if they ask for a cosine series, then we have to find a naught and a n. B n will become zero. If they ask a sine series, then we have to find only b n. And what are the formulas that you are going to use? The same as what we have done in even or odd function in the previous full range. It's going to be the same. There is nothing new in. Half range. So they have given one half of the interval, and they are asking you to construct the other half so that it may become even, or it may become odd. Even cases cosine, odd cases sine. That's it. Thank you.